This one student, she was 43, and this was the first opportunity she could keep her job and she could go to school. She said when she saw the poster advertising that this would be a midnight class, she said, I need to do this. The idea to start offering classes at midnight came from the students. So many students had come up to me and said, I really want to be here and I'm so sorry when I miss class, but I'm exhausted from working late at night. It made perfect, perfect sense because we have whole populations here in Boston that work from three in the afternoon to 11 in the evening. And then you can think out of the box very quickly. Okay, the time isn't working. What can we do to expand the time? The hardest thing teaching classes at midnight is just making it to midnight. I live in Cambridge, so I drove by Harvard and that's dark and MIT is dark. Once you're in there with the students, it's easy. They're spectacularly motivated and they really want to learn and they'll make the kind of effort that gets them there at midnight because I went right into the workforce, right out of high school, because I had a family. The opportunity to take classes full-time, either during the day or at night, really wasn't there for me. I uh, recently took a promotion exam, uh, realized how far back I set myself with not having a degree. That was like the light bulb going on in my head saying, you gotta go back, this, this is so bullshit, and then just go, this is your chance. I want a career, I have, I would say I have a job right now, but not necessarily a career. I, my goal is to be a nurse. When I think of the midnight students, they put on their old tennis shoes, wearing thin, kind of summery gym clothes, and they go out the door and proceed to climb Mount Everest. When I was 14 years old, I did have a child uh, with my girlfriend, who is now my wife. Um, I think people expected us to fail from that point. Um, maybe never ex expected me to finish high school. So when I finished high school, what was there the next thing to say, oh, you're never going to make it at college? Community college students are self-selected. They've been through some of the most difficult and, and weak school systems in the country, and yet somehow they figured out that education matters, and they go through long commutes to get here. This is a cohort of people, and there's a lot of them, six million. I'm just outraged that we don't get that great education to more people. Next fall, we plan to expand the midnight classes. We plan to enable a student to complete all of the general education requirements by taking courses at midnight. The non-traditional student is the traditional student, and the sooner we realize that, the, the better off we're going to be. Professor Sloan has just been really, um, very, oh. <laughs> been really supportive. They've been a blessing for me and they give me confidence that I can do it. All right, we will resume in a week. Hey. See you next week.